Shalom, Shalom. Kahalayim la, Yahweh b'Hashem Yahushai b'Hashem Kakudash. The honor to the elders and apostles who get built on the teaching of well. Peace and salutations be to hope for the elect. But I tell someone coming at you with a quick entrance. This is gonna be on a, uh, a quick testimonial video based upon a, a vision I had this morning. I woke up from this morning. Keep it short and simple. Simplify it. Um, basically, I was in a house, and the people in the house were scared. Like they didn't know what, what was going on, and uh, it was kind of like I was just there watching what was happening inside someone's house, but I wasn't like actually in that house. You know, it was almost like being in the spirit standing there watching what's going on they can't see me but i can see them um yeah i was standing in the midst of the living room and i heard a ruckus in the room in one of the bedrooms and i can see like a mother and a few kids standing out of that room, looking into the room, crying and uh, panicking and, and, and weeping and yelling. And there were troops in the house. Um, troops by the front door, guarding the exits. It's like, yes, my window wipers. Um, and um, that seemed as if they were doing a routine checkup. They're, the troops were doing a routine checkup and they just happened to be in that house when I was there you know and I was watching and I go I go to, to see what they're looking at like what's going on in that room and I go and, and look inside the room and uh, the soldiers were holding so lucky the soldiers were, hold, were holding someone down and scanning them uh, I don't remember what part of the body they were scanning. I just know that they were scanning them. And on the scanner, it will read alien, you know. So if they didn't have that C-hip, the scanner would say uh, alien, you know. Um, and then they treated that person as if they were a monster, like an actual alien or something. Um... which alien goes into something, a being that's not from here, but it also goes into uh, someone from another country, you know, like an immigrant, or in this case, you would have, uh, in this case, you would have an alien of the, of the NWO, New World Order. If you ain't a part of the NWO, you'll be considered an outcast or an alien. And um, these guys are very rough. Um, they didn't look like normal. They didn't look like normal. Uh, they weren't your normal average policeman or your normal troop. These these guys were in, uh, black. They were in all black. Okay, and they had the helmets on that had the the glass cover over the face you know and they meant business they were angry that the way that they were handling these people was like they were angry so you know that the devil's coming down with great wrath having great wrath as the scriptures say you know it's like they exercise the anger of the beast you know um but they scanned them they scanned the, the man or woman I can't tell you if it was a man or a woman I just know it was a person they scanned it and uh, it popped up alien. And if you were a, an alien or considered an alien, they would haul you off to FEMA camps. And there, you know, I didn't get to see what was going on in the FEMA camps. But probably nothing good, man. But they were taking people from their homes. And people who didn't want it, they were taking them from their homes. The people who didn't want to bow down and get right with the program, they would take them from their homes and put them all in a truck and, and they'd be shipped off into the FEMA camps and uh, 
I don't know what was going on in the FEMA camps, but we know they're going to be doing, as they also call re-education camps, so they could be doing brainwashing, and also uh, they could be having uh, a micro sea hip festival in these uh, in these FEMA camps, man. And if you don't want it, that's probably where you're going to get beheaded in the FEMA camp, you know. But uh, they were raiding, the soldiers were overflowing neighborhoods going into each house and checking to see if anybody had got right with the program you know and if not they get their ass beat you know put into a truck uh, from there I woke up you know and I was just like wow that look, that reminds me of that uh, Black Mirror episode you know when they were um, the soldiers were seeing the people the soldiers were seeing people that didn't have the sea hit you know, and they would look like monsters, all right, uh, I forgot what they called them in the episode, I think they call them a roach, it's a roach, I don't know, I don't remember, you know, but they called them a certain uh, figure, a certain word that pertained to like a, a, an alien or a monster or whatever, but that's exactly what it reminded me of, you know, which I gotta watch that episode again, because it's all kind of shady. I haven't seen it in years. But uh, I'm going to watch it again. And, um, you know, get a deeper understanding on that. Because that's what it reminded me of. You know, how they were coming. The troops were coming. But I want to grab this in the book of Revelation. Chapter, uh, chapter 12. And verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye... Rejoice ye heavens and they and ye that dwell in them. So those that dwell in the heavens is the Lord's elect because their mind is in the heavens. You know. They, their mind dwells in the heavens and <laughs> uh, wherever your mind whatever your heart is, you know. Wherever your treasures is, that's where your heart will be also, you know, rough paraphrasing. But if you treasure this earth, that's where your, your mind going to be at. You treasure spiritual things, the truth, the kingdom, the Lord's righteousness. That's where your mind going to be at. So it says, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. So destruction be to them that they dwell in the world. You know, they, uh, you got people that, you got men that, men and women that dwell in the sea as well because of naval ships, submarines, all sorts of things like these. There's uh, bases in the in the in the sea as well, you know. But to, that's just going to show you destruction being to all men, except the men of the Lord, you know, because it says, "For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath." That means the devil's coming down to everybody, having great wrath, you know. But the Lord, the men of the Lord, are going to be safe. It says, "Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time." So he knows his time is running out. That's why he gonna come down so angry the way he did in that vision, man. You know, and we can uh, picture up and imagine and think up uh, how that time's gonna be as much as we can until we see it, until we're experiencing it. It's gonna be completely on another level. You know, it's, well, we're expecting it to happen, but when we see it, it's gonna is. It's still gonna be so uh, extraordinary that you're just gonna you're gonna be able to marvel like, damn, this devil really coming with it, man. You know, but the scriptures hold true, and, and to this day stand true. They do not change, man. Uh, Revelation chapter three and verse ten says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience." I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The Lord will keep his elect from the hour of temptation. And it's going to be an hour when men are going to be taken from their homes, cast into camps. And um, they're going to tell you to deny everything you stand for, to, to throw away your integrity, cast away your bowels, and accept this MOTB. You know? Then what you're gonna do? You know? Uh, but the man of the Lord, when that happens, they're gonna be.
tight, they gonna, and they're going to stand firm for the Lord Yahweh Bashmiel Shah, you know. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right? It's going to come upon the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And uh, in the NLT, they say to test those. The hour of testing is coming to test those who belong to this world, you know. Scriptures say this world was created for many, but the world will come for few. So there's many that's going to get tested, you know, because they all belong to this world. And they're going to fail, man, miserably. They're not going to be able to hold their integrity. They got nothing, they got no foundation. They're, you know, they're not rooted in, in the Lord for real, man. You know, even their idols, don't, don't, they don't hold enough root in their idols to stand firm against this MOTB. of Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 it says and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name you ain't going to be able to buy or sell unless you get this thing, man. Unless you get the sea hip within you. You're not going to be, uh, who was it? I believe it was Klaus Schwab or the the World Economic Forum. They were saying you will be considered an outcast of the NWO, you know, if you don't get right with the CBDC, which the CBDC is going to be simplified into a sea hip, a micro sea hip. All right. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. So certain men are going to get taken away and get fed these, this MOTB. Not literally, but they're going to put these thing, this thing inside of you, man. You know, some men ain't going to have the integrity of the the goal to say no to say no nah, i stand firm for the lord you're gonna have to kill me some men ain't gonna some men gonna see uh other men getting their head cut off getting beheaded and they're gonna their heart's gonna become faint they'll become faint-hearted and weak in the knees and eventually bow and kneel to the image of the beast all right with that i give all glory honor praises